Hi everyone, welcome to Mac's Art Place. I'm Mac, and as you can see over here, my last video, I tried the blooms on the rocks that I made, so today I'm going to continue with this bloom technique over on these paper box hearts that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to change my colors around a little bit, um, and I'm probably going to have to do a little something else with pouring down the sides, but we'll see. So instead of the green, I'm using purple, pink, and yellow. So I have uh, primary elements, passion, uh, with their pour medium, and again, I have the key lime and the wine and roses. So, I've poured some white paint on here, and we're going to get rid of the air bubbles, I hope. Oh, there was a lot of air bubbles on there. And I had no place to put these, so they'll have to sit there until they dry a little. So first I'm going to put the purple down. And I think I'm going to do three spots on the heart. Um, I don't know if you can even stretch this because it uh, being a box, but... Oh, it looks like two eyes looking at you. Oh, I should make this a smile. Hi there. Hello, Mr. Bill. So then I'll put the yellow. And I'm learning a little bit with the, the uh, air gun there, not to put it too, too close. There's my little smiley, and we'll have the pink on top. My uh, color on top is going to be black like I did on the other ro the rocks that I did. I'm just not going to use as much, and I think I've got the air gun down. Just a drop. It does really nice lacing. I probably should put one in the middle there because it's all pouring down the side. So I think I'm going to do that before I even start. So we're going to have the purple and the yellow and the pink. And it sticks to my fingers because I don't have a glove on that hand. Oh, no, I've got a really nice nail now. And the black. Deep. Okay, what happened to my rag? Here it is. All right, a little bit of bl uh, blowing here. Ugh. And I don't even want to try to pick them up and stretch it. I've just got to figure out how to get something down the sides. Uh, it has some really nice coloring that came down there. And maybe I can go something like this. I 
I could take a little bit of paint and let it run down the side. I think I might even do that. This color combination is nice. Yeah, because I can't stretch it, so I think that's the best thing to do is we'll take a little bit of paint and let it run down. If anybody has an idea on how you can possibly stretch something like that, please don't hesitate to let me know. And there's a spot over here. pink there and I would like to add a little bit of the darker color. This one has to be washed now. When I mix up the primary elements colors, I keep a spoon in each one of them so it's all already in there. That I can mix up and see how thin or thick it is. Well, I'll take you down for a closer look. Um, be nice if I could stretch it, but I don't see how I can do that on this type of a, an item. It, um, no, it'll just mess it up. Could try and blow it a little bit more, maybe, we'll see. to use my torch see if there's any bubbles I like that color combination so I'll take you down for a look see here is the one side there's nice lacing there that sergeant's black really does some nice lacing. And there 
here's the other one. The sides where I've left it drip because I don't know what else to do with it. Maybe more will run down. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and tell your friends and maybe even some enemies. It would be nice to get more subscribers. Hope you're having a great day. See you soon.